done the video. We've done the video on the mic filters today. We've done a personal video for another for a potential customer. Now we're doing the sort out the Midland M78 Plus Multi, which was in a brand new set 11 months ago, which we used in the test car. So it's one of these, one with the blue display. Uh, notice it has a ferrite thing on the back. Sounds like they found. Because I don't see, I've never even remember seeing one of those on a CB before. Anyway, he's got one of those. So, uh, what we're gonna, how we're going to connect this up? No idea. Crocodile clips, I expect, because I'm not going to take the power lead out of the car. Does that make it switch on? Yay! It does. So if I put a antenna into that, in which case it's going to be the test instruments. Oh, I just realised we put that ferrite filter on. Uh, when you go into, when you, well, I think when you go into reverse and the CCTV cameras come on in the car, it gave a bit of interference. Right. Um, so if we go into transmit, I'll select picture and picture. So we can see. It actually is transmitting today. Look at the action of me pressing the thing and, and, and then look how long it takes. This is how these sets are for it's going to transmit. Good half second. So I'm going to have to open it up and we'll see whether we can improve the VCO so that the voltage of the VCO, if we can adjust it, um, so that in the hope of it locking on the channels we use, because it's probably been optimised VCO wise, because we have optimised the performance. Oh, how many watts is it doing? Yeah, barely three. So remember that's our test set. Barely three. So, you know, that's what you hear on every video. But you see, the point about this set is it's got the other right features, like, you know, you can do CPT on it, because if we didn't bother doing any CPT sets at all, which would suit me, then I'd fit all the four vehicles we have here with Rotel RVC 230s or Harvard 420Ms. But unfortunately, we have one or two customers who have CPT. I mean, I could tell the customers I no longer want any CPT business, but then it could be detrimental to the 2781 business. So that's why we put up with it, because CPT certainly doesn't work here for us. And I've had times, as I've said many times before, that we've had less than a mile range because of foreign interference. But then you see some people want foreign interference. They want to try and talk to it. Okay. Well, there's the VCO. So switch the, sm the smouldering bat on. That's a bit like a soldering iron. Now, where on earth the VCO monitoring voltage is, I have got no idea. Don't expect it's underneath. I'm going to say it'd be daft if it was. And it, so these sets are only 11 months old. They've always been the same. When it's cold, transmit is very iffy, as they say. So I'm going to pause the video and see if I can find a VCO test point. So test point one is shown. I've connected the negative prod to uh, power negative. So at the moment we've got 2.64 in receive and 1.8 in transmit. So let's advance through the channels and see where this is. See, we don't have a service monitor, so it's, it's all experienced and educated guesswork. So on channel 40, I've got 2.8 volts on receive and 1.99 on transmit. So I'm going to now change it to CPT.
we're now in CPT mode and I'm going to whip it down to channel 1 so that's the lowest we're going to have so it'll be 26.965 won't it so we now have 1 volt on receive and 0.64 on transmit well you know what I'm surprised it's even transmitting down on that. Tell you what, it does more power down here. It's doing uh, three and a half watts, three point six watts. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to have to move this upwards. So, what are we going to find under there? Well, that fits. So I'm going to go back to UK. There we are. And I'm going to select channel 40. And as far as I'm concerned, seeing as we know that channel 1 CPT is lower in VCO volts than this channel, while we've got no volts at all, probably because the crocodile clips go on AWOL yep so we're on channel 40 UK and we've got 3 volts and 2.2 .2. so it looks like we've only got one VCO test point so I'm going to make this 4 volts in transmit I'll just uh, warm that up again There we go. So that's now where I'd expect it to be on transmit. And is it an ah? No, we've got no transmit at all. So it doesn't want to be there. How bizarre is that? It actually wants to be lower. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll set it to 2. Well, this is against all my experience in training. they nearly always 3 or 4 volts. So what affects... How, how do you adjust... Um, if we've done transmit, it hasn't affected receive. Not that receive's ever played up. Okay, so now I'll go back to channel one of of, U, of of CPT. So we're one volt on receive, and it's straight into transmit at 0 0.65 on the VCO. So go back to UK. Channel forty. One point nine six and straight into transmit. Go to channel. I'll go to channel twenty UK and just see if we can screw a few more milliwatts out of this radio. So it's two point nine watts at the moment. I'll call it three.
No, it doesn't seem like it. That's what we are. We're at three watts, and that's how it's always been. It is going into transmit, but of course, it's been in the house for a couple of hours, and it will have warmed up. So really, unless we stuck stuck it in the freezer, um, I can't really see. But I've lowered the VTO voltage, but again, it's it's absolutely against what I would expect. I'd have expected it need to be four volts at the top of the shop, and I'd expect it to be one point something at the bottom. Instead of which, it wouldn't even transmit when it was four volts. So I've lowered it from that two point eight we started off with with two, and now the bottom of the shop is zero point six, but it transmits readily. So. You know, go figure is what the Americans would say. Really bizarre. Of course, I'd like to see sight of a service manual, but uh, uh, that doesn't seem to happen, does it? Uh, right, I'll see if there's anything else we can do, and then we'll call it a day. Yeah, in conclusion, I've just looked at the synod, and it's uh, it's only 0.41 for 12 decibel synod, so our Rotel 230 is a much better set at 0 0.27. So, um, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's... The fact is, it's got certain facilities like scan and uh, which you find useful if you're just uh, driving around, um, you know, and and that. But um, there's definitely better sets than these, and they're not cheap. It's 109.99, and the current model. Uh, I think Mr. Chippy would fancy having front thunder pole 3000s in all the cars, but you know, considering two of these sets are only 11 months old, I don't really think we can uh, we can do that at this moment. So, um, I've been through that. I've just managed to bring the detector in a little bit. And we'll just go back to transmit and just see whether it's going straight in to transmit. Well, it's going in as quickly as it ever does. So, let's have a look at... I know one two five. Yeah, that's right. It's on frequency. I'm just going to look how the uh, it's affected by voltage. So whilst in transmit, I'm going to turn the power supply down to 12 volts, and it's now doing two and a half watts. So we'll go up to 13.8 where we were, and it's doing just under three watts. So what power do we have to do to make it four? scary 15.1 well as it happens that nissan leaf which this is in uh is 14.4 volts so it's three and a half watts it's giving out in that car so there we are that's our test radio All I've got to do now is to manage to put it together and then have the faff of putting it back in the car. I think I'm going to spray the mic contacts in there as well. Right, well, thank you for watching. I hope, uh, hope you found that interesting, trying to faff about with the VCO on our Midland 78.